Hello, everyone. Your Wednesday is here. On time for a change. And never you fear. I have much to tell with some daring do. A word, a guest, some boring stuff, too. But first a preface, for those unaware. A challenge was issued, which is surely fair. To speak solely in couplets this week is my fate. I think it'll be a good time. Just wait. But first, of course, the word of the week. It's Pampas, dear viewer. A good one, I think. The Pampas are plains of northern Argentina. But how did such a word enter my arena? When writing an essay, instead of campus, I wrote compass. And word, of course, prompted me with Pampas. And therein lies my recent life. Procrastination has brought me much strife. A brutal mistress, as I've recently found. And resultantly, as it happens, I'm one scholarship down. Essays, a speech, and a campaign in full flower, this week have consumed many an hour. But the fun, of course, one must remember. And last night, actually, is a major contender. Conveyor belt sushi and my lovely girlfriend made Pasadena a worthwhile way to suspend the work of the week, as did a friend visiting from Florida with some time to spend. Passing the torch of Quidditch has been another project, though of course I still have this summer to direct. But recruitment is up, and it seems the next year. A rather large team in September will appear. Though preparing my successors is a rather weird task, the people in power are more than I'd ask. I have very little doubt that they'll succeed, almost none at all. I actually look forward to them playing UCLA in the fall. We've also inspired a high school to start a team, which is exactly as awesome as it seems. Now all that remains is my very special guest, who has, I am told, an important request. My name is Ambrose, the fourth of the Sock Fellows. You know my father. A good man, colorful, who cared for his family. Also, outstanding at Quelf. Always a bit on, but surely miss now he's gone. Are we to Boston? All that I ask for is that you pass on greetings to my mismatched dad. And love from his son, Ambrose Sockfellow the Fourth. What an awkward line. It lacked rhyme, of course, but was from the heart. And now that a guest has surely taken part, it is time to go. And I wish you all well. Though I'll surely be seeing you in just a spell. Off then to the world of prose that you know. And what a frightfully boring place to go. Farewell, dear viewers. I hope you had fun with my couplets today. And now, I am done.